Hey y'all, it's Joe. So I'm just trying to do a little uh, midweek recording here because I have a very busy weekend coming up. And, um, and then my baby's turning 27 on the 27th. <laughs> so yeah, got that little milestone to look forward to. And let me tell y'all what's been going on. You want to know what's been going on? Um, if you've seen a couple of posts I made on like, I use YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Those are the three social media outlets that I use. And I held up a picture of something that was like partially done. And actually to guess what it was, well, it was pretty obvious. But um, and then I posted another picture, y'all, because... I lost at Yarn Chicken. Ugh. I, um, well, let me just show you what uh, the yarn situation was. Because I was using Bernat Blanket yarn and I had two skeins, two big balls, <laughs> two big balls of uh, baby pink was the colorway. Now this is the ball I was using. I probably bought this like, I don't know, four or five years ago, or you know, four-ish or more years ago, probably. Um, I really, I can't remember when I bought it. It's just up in my stash, you know. <laughs> um, and, and I have this little thing I tied on here so I could bring this with me to the store to make sure it was gonna match up. Well, guess what? They'd still make Bernat in baby pink, but as soon as I saw the label had changed, I knew that the dye lot was gonna be different. And it is. You can kind of see right here. You can kind of see the difference there. Mm-hmm. So, I guess y'all saw that picture that I just had to do like, I don't know, about that much of a single crochet border. That's it. That's all I had to do. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Get my, my big guy. I'm going to show you and you tell me what you think. Because it's on the bottom, so you're not really going to see it, you know. And, um... But Josie D, uh, me wants to uh, rip out the entire border and put and just put the border in this one color. Maybe I don't know, but maybe if y'all have this Bernat baby plinking pink in your stash, maybe you could send me about three yards <laughs> in the mail. No, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna make do, but um. Yeah, Whew. it was just so little bit of yarn that I needed. But look at the bottom. This is the bottom. I'm going to show y'all. Do you see where the color changed right here? Because I started right here and went all the way around and came back up here. And that is all I needed to finish this. Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> it this is a 3m 3am grace design um it's the bunny peep and it is a big um it's a it's a fat a rather large um design that she has for the bunny peep but of course i made it bigger with blanket yarn and an eight millimeter hook this is my favorite um this is a Hobby Lobby hook. I don't know if it's Yarnology, I think. But this is my favorite hook to use when I um I need to use the blanket yarn and the eight. <laughs> I just poked him right in the head. <laughs> Blink. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Scramble up your brains. <laughs> 
Um, this is the, the hook that I love to use with Bernat blanket yarn when I need, to, when I want to make something big. I love, I, I, you know, I love my Clover Amours, but the bigger hooks y'all are plastic. Why do they do that? I love my metal Clover Amour hooks and the yarn just slides on it so easily. So, you know, they're just so nice. But, um, so I use this for my, um when I need an eight millimeter, especially when working with this blanket yarn because it has a lot of drag to it. And you know, it, it's a workout <laughs> to use that yarn. So this little sucker is three feet tall, three feet. Let me hold them up here. Oh my God, do y'all see that mess back there? Let me cover the mess. <laughs> okay. So this is my big guy or gal or whatever it is, but look, can you notice it? Can you notice the little color change right here? Do you think that's bothering my Joe CD? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Joe CD is going, but maybe I can just let this one go. <laughs> There's also something else that's bothering my Joe CD with this, y'all. And if you know Peeps and Bunny Peeps, they have brown eyes and a nose. And I don't know why. I just picked up the black and I made some circles and little highlights and I sewed them on. And I don't know why I didn't even think to go with the brown. Okay, you have to let me know if you think... I should just cut these puppies off and put the brown on so it really looks like a peep. Does it look like a peep not having the brown? I don't know. It almost looks like a bowling pin. Look at the bowling pin. <laughs> if I would have just brought this up a little skinnier, I would have a bowling pin. <laughs> anyway, I loves it. It made me happy. It's so easy and simple to do. And y'all know, lately, I just need simple and easy. This past couple of years, few years. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, let me know if you think I should change this to brown. And if you think that's okay. I don't know. But, you know, I had to go big. Go big or go home, baby. And, you know, because sometimes size does matter. It does. I wanted to show y'all real quick that um, for those of you who, who may not have seen this last year, I made a Bernat Blanket Chocolate Bunny last year. And he was pretty big, I thought, until I made the peep. And <laughs> he's like, um, yeah. <laughs> This bunny peeps at least a foot taller. This so maybe this might be around two feet, maybe a little more, maybe about twenty eight inches tall, and this one's you know a good thirty six. So um, now I got two big squishy bunnies to love on for Easter time. <laughs> I have every intention of uh, crochet in the collar. Look at my little ribbon got all wackadoo from last year, but I have every intention of crocheting this collar and making the rose, the pink rose for this this year. So hopefully I get to that before Christmas. I'll let you know if I do. Oh, this is a, um, this is a Sorella pattern. So I'll have these two linked down below in case y'all are interested. So this is Sorella and the peep is 3 a.m. Grace Designs. Okay, I have a yarn haul, and I know y'all are probably getting sick and tired of seeing the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn hauls, so I'm going to go through mine, like, real quickly, and no need to give you any specs, right? Um, but first, before Hobby Lobby, was a couple of weeks ago, maybe three, maybe even four weeks ago, I can't remember, um, I was watching, uh, Jennifer, Cinnamon Stitches, and um, she gets a lot of her um, heads up on 
on um, sales and stuff from Kim at, what is it, Affordably Crafty, I think that's her channel, and um, so she like scours emails and ads and stuff and lets everybody know when the good deals are. So I picked up some Chic Sheep at Ollie's. Now I did want some of the, what was it, Red Heart Melange or Red Heart Tweed, I think I was going in there to look for. And I also wanted to find Chic Sheep because this is the Marley Bird Merino. And um, they just had these two colors of the Chic Sheep. So I picked up, you know, a bundle of each color. <laughs> and, um, but I, I couldn't find the other yarn I was looking for, but they still, they had lots of other, uh, lots of other types of yarns, but those were the only two I was interested in. Now, Hobby Lobby, my Hobby Lobby, um, discounted their, the, the one girl, poor thing, work in the entire yarn and fabric department by herself, could only get to the clearancing of the yarn a little bit at a time. So I had to keep going back and keep going back. And I did miss out on a lot of the things, like I did not get any of the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek um, Low Pill Fiber, which I really wanted to try to find, uh, get some of that. Um, and especially that neon colorway, I was gonna send it to Jen that she wanted so bad. It had black and neons in it. But um, yeah, I couldn't scoop up on any of that. So it was a hit and miss, you know. I did get a lot of like Hanks, but not a whole lot of a lot of the other, you know, I missed out on some things, but that's okay. Um, that's quite all right, saved me some money. <laughs> but um, I did pick up like, like the yarn I'm gonna show you, I got, you know, several of each color. So I got some sugar wheel cotton and just in these neutral shades, just in these neutrals. So that would go, you know, that goes with a lot with everything. And I did pick up this, this beautiful, I love this cotton and this color. Oh my goodness. That's just gorgeous. I love that color. Absolutely love it. I got, um, the only got this color in the bamboodiful and it's a beautiful like aqua aqua color some people might call it more green some people might call it more blue <laughs> um now i also i only got two of these and it was the red heart uh roll with it melange so those are the only colorways available the only colorway available and i got two of these um what is that? Oh, the only I love this yarn that I was able to scoop up on this time around were these two. The others were gone. So I got these two and just I love this yarn. And I bought some more blanket yarn and y'all I have plenty of blanket yarn, but when I saw this, hey, ooh, fuzzies already. <laughs> Um, y'all know Valerie with, um, Valerie with Old Soul Crochet. How could I forget that? It, um, she's, hasn't been on for a while, a lot like me, um, not being on for a while, but she's got two young children to raise, so she's very busy. <laughs> um, but she, um, made a sea turtle pattern, y'all. See her? See the sea turtle? I want to do that so bad. So bad. It's adorable. And when I saw these two blanket yarns, I was like, oh, perfecto. I think these would be perfect for that sea turtle because they have a little, you know, it's, it, it's not done in like solids. So um, I think for that, for the little parts and the little hexagons or whatever she has in the shell with this color, and then the body and the head color, the legs and the head color this, I think that would look amazeballs. 
I think it would. So when I saw that, I picked up a few of those too because I knew exactly what I was going to make with it. So <sighs> can't wait to make that one day. <laughs> Another yarn that I was excited to get um, at Hobby Lobby that I was able to, and I went a little cray cray on this one, um, is the uh, Must Be Merino by Yarn Bee. Let's see. I hate when they put the tags over the name, but anyway. Yarn Bee, Must Be Merino. This reminds me a lot of of Marley Bird's Sheep Sheep um, with the Merino. And um, Marley Bird's yarn is a four, a worsted, but this is a DK. So I got quite a few in each of these colors. Well, you see the little light blue color I got, but oh, that's the, also just got black and white and I got in that light blue, and I also got these colors. So I thought those were beautiful together. And with adding in any neutrals, or if I wanted to do something more like this, you know, to make something that's really pretty. But, and the black's always, black and white's always good for everything and neutrals. But, yep, so that was my must be merino. Now, I also managed to be able to snatch up quite a few hanks. So, I did, um, I just got, you know, a pretty um, little amount of each of these also. And they were, um, I mean, it's like, how do you pass this up at such a good price, right? Those... These are two like really fun ones. These are gorgeous. I love these. They're really bright and cheerful. And then I got a couple of solids here, the blue and the purple. And um, I left some there for other people. And then of course the next day I'm like, okay, since I behaved myself the day before, if they're still there, maybe I can snatch up a few more. And nope, they were gone. <laughs> so that was my Hobby Lobby yarn haul. And um, if you'd like, uh, oh wait, I can show you all the little trinket stuff I got too out of, out of that section. I lied, I found more yarn just yesterday. I went back there just to look around <laughs> and I kept passing this up. Um, I passed this up like five or six times that I've seen it. And so it finally got me this time. And that was the furry fur yarn for all the love, for the love. And this one's Husky. And they had three of these. And the reason why I just kept hemming and hawing over it was it's only 37 yards. So I have three. And I don't know what that's going to make. You know, of course, I want to make an ammy out of it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a really cool little furry spider? <laughs> but oh my goodness, y'all trying to find your stitches in that to actually make something? I don't know about that. And they had three in the black. So I have the black furry fur and this husky that um, I can make something out of. It may just be a pillow. <laughs> something easy, right? <laughs> Little single crochets in a square. Bada bing, bada boom, you got a pillow. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> this is another thing that I got that was on clearance and it was the, the Golden Girls, the Golden Girls Crochet Kit. It has like a little book with the patterns here in the front. And I didn't open this box up, but I assume that's where the supplies are, the yarn and whatnot that they give you to uh, make it. I also picked up this little doohickey, which I thought was pretty nifty to have around. Um, a fabric shaver and lint brush. So, do you have, you know, your um, crochet? Does it get all pilly and and matty sometimes? Like, it's too fuzzy or, you know what I'm talking about. So, I thought maybe I'd try this. 
if it doesn't work good on crochet, I always have it for my clothes, right? <laughs> and um, they had these cute little bags. It's hard to see. Creative. And so creative is a way of life. Okay. So it's just got a little flowery design, cute little tote, little gift bag, project bag, whatever. Um, these are coasters. And where's my eyeballs? Here they are. They say things like, it's a good day for yarn and yarn makes me happy. Time to unwind and one more row. And so it's just little packs of coasters. These are really cute. These little decorative alpacas uh, with the wood, wood beads and yarn balls. So I have a couple of those I can decorate with. And this, um, this block here, time to unwind, but first yarn, need more fiber, one more row, and yarn. So those are really cute. And I thought maybe I could use them for um, a stand to put something on, put a project on. I don't know, maybe a little, sit a little stuffy on it like it's a chair. I don't know. I'll do something with it, right? Now, I also picked up a couple of packs of um, Knitter's Pride interchangeable needles, knitting needles, and they're Knitter's Pride, y'all. $349 for this one, $274 for that one, and they're interchangeable and come with the wires and all that, so that was pretty cool. I got a few uh, crochet, assorted crochet hooks. Knitter's Pride Wood ones. There's a Clover Amour. Um, here's another little set of, I don't know. Oh, these are the needles and that you can put the, um, the wires on. Lots of little, little knick-knacky stuff, little gift tags. Cute little gift tags. Little keychains. Of course, I had to get the yarn queen. <laughs> and this little thing that's that um, you can put like a picture in or something. So, more decorative things. Oh, here's my receipt. Oh, I'm not going to show you all that number. Here's some um, connectors for the Knitter's Pride. Um, and another key. You can um, make your, why am I not thinking of what that word is for the wire thing? Anyway, cord. <laughs> See, cord connectors. <laughs> so you can make your cords longer with the little connectors. And these will actually work with my, um, my Knitter's Pride Ginger Tunisian hooks also. So, and they had little tape measures, cute little alpaca tape measures. What else do I have in this basket? Some little pins. See all the little desserts that look like yarn. Here's another Clover Amore. Oh, here's more. The bigger Clover Amore hooks. And oh, maybe I just pulled that out already. Yeah, I think I did. So that was all my little goodies from Hobby Lobby Yarn Haul. <laughs> I hope that was fast enough <laughs> um, because I know you've probably seen a million of them already and um, so have I. <laughs> but I like to see what other people got too. I like to see, you know, did they get pick out the same things as me or did they get something different? And I like to hear why they bought things or projects they might have in mind. But um, yeah. It was a lot of fun. So thanks y'all for sticking around for Joe's Web number 93. 93? Wow. And um, be kind and be blessed. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>